off our port side. And it's a very good course to go around them. They generally don't like when you get too close to them. So, you can see them right there. Uh, coincidentally, there's been some crazy beeping noise. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say, um, we came out here right now because there's this beeping. It's really odd, faint beeping that we can hear. It sounds like it's starting somewhere in the cabin and then it's almost like echoing out here, like a second beep. We've checked everything that can beep. It's kind of crazy. And now that we see this military ship, we're just like, what is going on? Are they pinging us or something? It's also really hot. This is like middle of day two. I just poured water on my head and there's not much breeze as you can see. I think we're going like 3.5 knots. Still have a spinnaker out. We're headed north and it's day two of our passage from Flamingo Key at the top of the Ragged Island chain to the Berry Islands, located at the top part of the Bahamas. We're staging for a longer passage back to the US. And so far, as you saw in our last episode, winds are super light, which means plenty of sail changes and tweaks. I feel like it's not beeping since we started filming too. I mean, it's just moving away. Maybe we're getting too, I don't know. Have you heard it? I haven't heard it in a while, but we're not down below. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm going back down here. Whew. Weird. Yeah. It's not doing it anymore. Maybe they were like using some sort of range finder for the distance, for training. Like maybe they're requiring us to target. I don't know. Yeah, because the ship's now moving and I don't hear the beeping anymore. It's so weird because it's been beeping for like probably half an hour. That's the boat, it's moving off, that's Delos. I turned on our radar to see where they were, and then they got pinged again. So it sounds like they know when I turn on my radar. Why? I don't know. As soon as they did it, they turned and started pinging me. It's funny, it seems like every time I turn on my radar, the Navy ship like pings me back or something. I can't tell what's going on. Didn't you hear that beeping? <laughs> I think that's the Navy ship again. There seems to be a strange correlation between when I turn on my radar and how often we get pinged by the ship. They must have some sort of like radar detection or something on there. What you doing? I have to show everybody. Uh -huh. So I just got the temperature gun out. Cause I know it's really hot down here, but this proves it because it's 89 right here. Hold on, get in front of the 95. Hold on, I just, 109, 131, 129. This is the temperature of our galley right now. True life, 102. And for comparison purposes, hands hold the heat, I guess. It's 87 over here. 86. It's actually harder to do. You are, hold on, the sun, you are 91. You're 92. Down with my temperature gun for now. So we need it for more Beautiful evidence. Empirical evidence. <laughs> evidence that it's hot. Night two of our passage. We are about 60 or 70 miles from the berries. I think that's where we're gonna stop uh, tomorrow morning when we, or ever we arrive. Um, it's still really light air, so we're not going very fast. Um, but yeah, still sailing along nicely. Wind shifted a little bit forward. So I was able to get the main up. Still flying a spinnaker. It's peaceful out here. Delos is still pretty with us. They're not so close anymore, but our boat is much lighter than theirs. Another nice day out here though. Wee bit hot, but nice. And Radio Delos earlier asked me to come uh, watch Netflix and put the aircon on, he said yeah. We just have to slow down. <laughs> There's the first sign of civilization. NASA is just off to our starboard side. I don't think we've seen buildings since probably January when we left the States, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's now middle of June. We haven't seen civilization in a long time. Weird. It's been a very 
easy watch. We're just motoring at this point. Um, and pretty slowly. <laughs> so, still sleeping. I'm pretty tired. But we had an absolutely beautiful sunrise today. I probably took like 50 pictures. So we are getting really close now. Um, that's Delos behind us, that's us, and that blue X. Sorry, that blue X is where we are heading. Just another 20 minutes or so until we throw the anchor. Yeah, pretty good passage. Not bad at all. Our place. We're anchored off uh, two private cruise ship islands. All the Bahamian flagged cruise ships are kind of just like anchored and stuck here, I guess. It's like I see on AIS, there's all these are cruise ships. Crazy, it's probably like a billion dollars of cruise ships out there. So our Honda 2000 finally <laughs> bit the bullet, it's actually dead. Um, I think the alternating unit's broken, so it runs, but it's just not, not, genera not generating any power. Um, but luckily we were still off Delos and they offered to have us wrapped up and grabbed some water. My can run the water maker off the engine, but because we have such a long passage coming up and limited fuel, um, and I can't run my generator to charge the batteries, I want to keep the diesel for charging offshore and not making water. Delos just made a bunch of water, so. We're gonna go wrapped up and take on some water from them, which is pretty sweet. So we are wrapped it up now next to Delos and we're gonna begin the water transfer. But before we do that, I think we're gonna jump in the water because it is so hot. Well, it's 90 in here, but it's very humid. And it's really, really hot out here. So I'm gonna jump in the water. Hand in hand, building castles out of sand, reaching for the so we got our water from our friends and now we are just having a little barbecue kind of like the meal before the passage type of thing we like to do a good meal and we're finally rafted up we haven't rafted up yet <laughs> so this is a a first and it's pretty it's pretty cool. Bill's on the barbecue. Got some turkey burgers happening. And some grilled veggies. I think we'll probably eat over on Delos because they have a little bit more space. Get down on over! Woohoo! We'll bring the burgers! It's great though. No dingy. I nugget. What's he doing? <laughs> Go on, Bill, give us a good bite shot. Good bite. Oh, good mm. bite Whoa. shot. Whoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's our last night in the Bahamas, mm -hmm. guys. Celebrating with some turkey burgers. This is it. And the Venera. We're out. Yeah. We're done. This is the last evening. Last supper. Yeah. It feels kind of weird, huh? It does feel weird. Feels weird, weird good, weird sad. Mm -hmm. All kinds of weird. Is that weird? You spent a lot of your life in the Bahamas now. 
Is that good? Yummy. Hot? Don't get rid of clicking when I'm swimming, it's funny. <laughs> but it doesn't hurt? I mean, it feels like slight, slight discomfort, yeah. So wait, when did this happen? Bachelor party. Oh. Oh. I, slid, I slid down Andy's curvy deck and landed on my rib on the lifeline. For that week ago? I don't even know. Two weeks ago. They said four weeks for ribbon. Drink, what is so. today, Tuesday? Monday. Monday. Yeah, Monday. No. No. Today's Tuesday. Right. Oh, was it really? Today's Tuesday. Oh, right. Yeah, and it's the Wednesday. wedding was last Wednesday. So really? The wedding was a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> Time warp.